Hello everyone, my name is JD. I'm a physiotherapist who works with people who struggle getting active or maybe struggle with fitness and we work around exercise solutions and ways of getting you to optimise your fitness and your health. I've been asked to do this video for the uh, Alzheimer's Association, so I hope it's helpful for you. Um, it's going to remain chair based, so all you need is a chair to sit on and somewhere to be comfortable. As always, if you feel at all sick or dizzy at any point during these exercises, please ease down. And it's always a good idea to exercise with someone else with you, just to make sure you can stay comfortable. So if you've got any injuries or any other problems, please try to work around them and don't do anything that will make your injury feel worse. So take your time with it. So to start off with guys, what I want you to do is make sure that you're sitting at the back of your chair. So you're just going to wiggle your bums back just so you can sit nice and tall. And we're gonna begin by taking our hands and putting them on our knees. And we're gonna look at moving between two postures. The first posture I'm gonna slump down forwards. So I want you to allow yourself to slump forwards and your head to drop down. And then, very slowly, you're gonna bring your head up, sit nice and tall and bring those shoulders back so you're sitting nice and tall. Try and stay relaxed when you do this. And we're going to slump forwards again. So we're going to slump, let our head drop down, allow those shoulders to come forwards. And then very slowly, bringing the head up, bringing the chest up and sitting nice and tall. Good stuff. We're going to do that a couple more times. So allowing yourself to slump forwards, shoulders come forwards, head drops. Allow yourself to feel that posture slump. And then very slowly, head comes up shoulders come back and you're sitting nice and tall and relaxed. Now when you're sitting tall, I want you to make sure that you feel relaxed. You're not working too hard to sit up here. It shouldn't be too much of an effort. Okay, next up guys, we're going to have a go at lifting our arms. So making sure that we keep a nice uh, strong posture, like, we, like I said before, we're just going to float your arms up. So all you to do is just let your arms float up and see how high you can get them, keeping a nice balanced posture and then slowly back down. And again, nice and tall with those arms, reach up high and back down. If you've got really long arms, be careful you don't hit the ceiling. My arms are incredibly long. And back down, good stuff. And we're gonna do that a couple more times. So reaching up, nice and tall, if you've got any arm issues or shoulder issues, just take your time. You don't have to reach up all the way, just go as far as you feel comfortable. And back down, guys. Fantastic work. Excellent. Okay, next up, what we're going to do is we're going to roll those shoulders. So I want you to have a go at picking your shoulders up. So you're bringing them up near the ears. You're going to bring them back and down. And then bring them up again. Shoulders up, back and down. Now, very often when we get tense, or if we're stressed, we hold a lot of tension in our shoulders and our necks. So this is quite a nice movement just to become aware of any tension in the neck and shoulders and drop them down. So you're just trying to move them in a nice big circle and down. We can do that a couple more times. I like to do this in the morning just because if I've got a stiff neck or shoulders, it just reminds me to try and keep them relaxed during the day. So up and down. A couple more times. Good stuff, one more time, and relax. Okay guys, next up we're gonna look at doing some rotation. So we're gonna rotate side to side. So the first thing I want to do again, sitting nice and tall, relaxing your posture, keeping your chest up and head up. We're gonna look round to one direction, and as we do, we're gonna rotate and turn our arms. So you're gonna rotate round, back to the middle, rotate round to the other side. Back to the middle, rotate round, back to the middle, rotate round again, back to the middle, rotate. If you feel good with this one, you can go all the way from one side all the way through to the other side. And you can rotate without stopping all the way through. Just going as far as you feel comfortable to. But we're just allowing that spine and also 
some of the lower back to rotate and move. Fantastic work guys, we're going to do that a couple more times. And back to the centre. Okay, give your arms and your shoulders a bit of a shake off. Okay, we're going to do some reaching practice next. So when we reach, what we're looking at doing is taking our hands down our legs and we're going to see how far we can get. Now once again, if you struggle moving forwards, only go as far as you can keep your balance. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my hands on my knees and I'm going to push my hands down my shins and as I do so, I'm going to keep my head up so I want you to keep looking forwards. Now, if you can touch your toes, you get an A star, but if you can't touch your toes, just go down as far as you feel comfortable. So even if it's just past your knees and then come back up, that's fine. You can go down a bit further and you can go to your shins and back up again. Or if you can, you're going to go down past your shins all the way to your feet. Now notice I'm keeping my head up looking forwards. And the purpose of that is to keep my back straight. So I'm just going to show you a side profile. So keep yourselves facing me. But if I round my back like this and hunch over and put my head down, can you see the shape of my back is rounded? But instead, what I'm looking at you do is let your hands slide down forwards, but keep that chest up. So I'm keeping my back nice and straight as I go down and then back up. Coming forwards, down and back up. And I want you to remember this because when you stand up, it's very important to be able to get your shoulders over your knees to help you stand. We're not going to stand today, but it's just an important thing to do so you get a good practice. We're going to do that a couple more times. So hands down to the feet. And back up. And a couple more times, down to the feet. And back up. And then one more time. Hands down to the feet. And back up. Lovely jubbly. So if you're feeling a bit tired, you can have a little bit of a rest, have a drink of water, do whatever you feel makes you comfortable. You can always pause this video if you need to stop and have a little relax. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the movement we've just done, but we're going to throw in a combination movement. So we're going to go down and reach and touch our toes. And then as we come back up, we're going to reach with one hand and over. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to reach forwards and down to my toes. And then I'm going to come back up and taking one arm, I'm going to reach up and over. I'm then going to bring my arm back down, reach down to my toes, come back up, reach up and over with the other hand. So back down, reach down to my toes, coming back up, up and over, hands back down again, down to my toes or just my shins, wherever you feel comfortable, back up, up and over. I'm going to do that a couple more times, just so we're starting to put some of these movements together and create some different movement patterns that should help loosen out your joints. It should help if you've got any aching joints, but also it's going to help strengthen the muscles that you have to allow you to move more freely. Good stuff, guys. We're going to do that a couple more times. Up and over. Last one. And up and over. Fantastic. Great stuff. Right, we focus mostly so far on the shoulders and the arms and a bit of reaching. So we're going to look at the legs next, guys. So... First thing I want you to do with your legs is I want you to make sure that your feet are fully flat on the ground if you can. Okay, once again, we're sitting up nice and tall. And to start off with, all I'm going to do is pull my toes up and then I'm going to push my toes into the floor and get my heels off the ground. So my toes are coming up and then my heels are coming off the floor. So I'm pointing those toes, pulling the toes up. Give that a go there. Now, if you're very good at this and you're very gifted, I would say rhythmically, you will be able to do opposite foot. So on one foot, you push onto the toe and you go, and the other one, you go onto the heel and you're going to alternate. Don't worry if you can't do this because it is quite tricky. So if you can't do that one, just go back to going onto your toes and then back onto your heels. This exercise is really good if you get any swelling in the legs. Just by pushing onto your toes, you work your calf muscles at the bottom and they're a very good pump that helps pump a lot of the swelling that we sometimes get in our legs back up and around the body. So doing this in the evening time if you get swollen legs should hopefully help. And relax guys. Okay, next up we're going to look at lifting the knees. 
So you can put your hands on the side of the chair or you can have your hands on your lap. Well, what you're going to do is you're going to pick up one leg, put it down, pick up one leg, put it down. And when we do this, we're trying to do it with a nice, good bit of control. So rather than it being a slogan up and down like this, what I want you to do is just pick it up, hold and back down, pick it up, hold and back down. And we're just lifting those knees. Once again, I'm thinking about my posture being upright as I bring one knee up and down, other knee up and down. Great work so far, guys. So well done. Keep that going. Remember to breathe as well when you do these exercises. Very often if we concentrate very hard or if we're doing big movements, we tend to hold our breath. And that makes exercise or activity very tiring. We don't want to do that. We want to try to relax and breathe as we do these exercises. Fantastic stuff. Great work so far, guys. Right, next up, we're going to straighten out the leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knee up and I'm going to push my leg out straight. Hold it there for five seconds, pull it back in and back down. Lift up the other leg, push it out straight. Hold it there for five seconds, back in and down. Pick up the other leg again. It doesn't have to be exactly five seconds. I'll let you off if it's three and a half or four. And back in, very good. And the other leg again. Back in. Good stuff, guys. So we're just getting these muscles to work in the legs. And back in, a couple more times. And back in. Well done. Okay guys, right, so we've done a little bit of work on the legs, the arms, the shoulders, and what we're gonna do now is put it together, and we are going to have a go at doing a bit of exercise, staying in the chair, but to make our hearts work a bit, bit quicker, a bit harder, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna imitate climbing a rope. So if you imagine there's a rope in front of you, and you're climbing it, you're pulling one hand up, one hand up like this. And also, while we're climbing the rope, we're going to march our legs. So get this going, climbing the rope, marching the legs. And like I said just before, as you're doing this, guys, I want you to make sure you breathe. Now, in a minute, we're going to go a little bit faster. Okay, so get ready. We're going to go fast for five seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. One, off we go. So we're going to try and climb that rope faster. Reaching out, climbing that rope, moving those legs. Climb, 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 and slow it down again. So slow it down. So climbing that rope slow again. Control your breathing. Take some deep breaths. If you need to rest, you can stop. But if you feel like you're climbing this rope well and you're able to keep going, do so. Okay guys, we're gonna go a little bit faster again. Ready, three, two, one, off we go. Climbing the rope, moving those knees up and down. Climb, 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 climb. Excellent work and ease down. Fantastic stuff guys, well done. We're gonna go slow again. Take some deep breaths. Right, we're gonna do that one more time, guys. Get ready, nice and fast for five seconds. Strong finish, three, two, one. Off we go, climbing that rope, moving those legs nice and fast. Three, two, one, and relax, guys, well done. Okay, take a couple of deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Deep breath in, and out through the mouth. So as you get comfortable to do this, guys, you can obviously practice um, doing these exercises. You can do more of them if you feel comfortable, or if you need to take regular rest, do so. And as you get more used to them, you'll probably find that you can do more of them. We're just gonna finish off with a bit of posture work now, guys. So we're just gonna loosen out the shoulders. So we're starting at the top of the head. All I want you to do is have a look from side to side. So moving your head nice and gentle, side to side. We're gonna do what we call a cool down which is allowing the body to relax again after doing a little bit of exercise. We're gonna take an ear to the shoulder, so taking your head down to one side, over to the other side. Good 
good stuff. And then we're going to bring those shoulders up, hunch those shoulders up and down. Let go of that tension. And again, hunch those shoulders up and down. And one more time, hunch those shoulders up and down. Okay guys, we're going to clasp the hands together in front. And what I want you to do is push your arms out as far forward as you can. So reach, 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 reach and down. And again, reach those arms up, reach, 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 and down. And one more time, we're going to reach forwards, reach, 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 and down. Okay, finally guys, what I want you to do is just have a little move with your shoulders side to side. I want you just to move the shoulders, move the arms. I want you to loosen out the waist. I want you just to have a little wiggle. So we're just going to wiggle everything now, wiggle the legs, wiggle the arms. And what we're trying to do is get rid of any tension anywhere. So nice and loose, wiggle the arms, the legs, the shoulders, the feet, and finish. Excellent work. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, little video, guys. I know it's a, quite a short one, but hopefully you'll find it of benefit. Um, like I said, you can practice it a couple of times you know, a week till you get used to the exercises. And then what you can do is increase the amount you do over time. But always stay safe and always stay comfortable when you do your exercises. Thank you for listening to me, guys. All the best, and I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye.